Okay, hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to the next part of my full promenade walk video. We finished the last part here as we just walk past the beautiful Imperial Hotel and we are continuing to head north towards Bispam. I'm just going to cross over the tram tracks because I think we can just have a little peek over here at the lower tram. Oh, there must be some kind of race on today. Look, we're setting up down there. Yeah, it's, a, it's some kind of race, some kind of event. You can see the setting up for that. So yeah, that's going to be happening. But we're not taking part in that. We are, well, I am walking to work, so we can carry on walking down here. That is the tram stop for the Imperial, Wilton Parade. So if you're going to the Imperial, you're staying there, that is the tram stop you want, Wilton Parade. Oh, that is a tram stop you want for any of the hotels on this block, not just the Imperial. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly this morning. We've got this next little block here, where you've got the Preston Hotel and the Strand Hotel and the Rutland Hotel, which became famous because it was filmed while well, people were filming the Ambassador Hotel coming down. Oh, that's what that event is for, guys. It is the Great Northwest Half Marathon. I know I've just interrupted my own video with that, but just letting you see what that is. So, yeah, I do have footage of the Ambassador before it closed down because I did a prom walk quite a while ago and I filmed it as I walked past but also I filmed the entire Ambassador Demolition I mean I wasn't the only one there's a crap ton of people that turned up to film that it was great but this is where the Ambassador stood we all know that and here is the site update guys absolutely zilch going on here there is parking space here, this fence has been moved right back. Or was it always back? I think it was always back. But looks like at some point that wall has been redone. Because if we look here, looks like a lot of the bricks and grease blocks just fell down. And it looks like it's been redone at some point. But that is the old ambassador site for those of you who are wondering what's been going on there? The answer is nothing. Now we're going to walk past the Grand Hotel, formerly the Hilton Hotel, before that the Pembroke Hotel. And this hotel was actually built next door to the old Derby Baths, Blackpool's old fantastic 50 metre swimming pool. And the site where the Derby Baths was built is still empty in all the years since they pulled down that lovely old building. And I do understand it had many issues. Yeah, it would have cost a lot to fix it up. I mean, I'm not an engineer and a builder, so I have no idea how much it would have cost. But obviously I'm guessing it wouldn't have been cost effective to fix it up but to this day I'm still a little sad that we lost the derby because I used to swim there a lot as a kid and it was absolutely great fun swimming there salt water swimming baths if you believe that I'm sure it was salt water I mean, please correct me if I'm wrong, but when I used to go there when I was a little kid, 
I remember it being salt water. And this is the corner where the Derby bus once proudly stood. And to this day, it is just an empty piece of grass. Nothing built on it, no hotels, no parks, no parking, just absolutely nothing. It's weird, isn't it, how the land is being used for nothing. I mean, even if it was made into a giant car park, it would generate a lot of money. Or even made into a kids' playground. I don't know, I feel it could be made into something. But in all these years, it's been made into nothing. I wonder why that is. Well, anyway, we are carrying on. I'm very aware of my shoes making a bit of a squeaky sound as I walk. So if you can hear the, like, the squeaky, shuffly sound that my shoes are making, I do apologise, but I can't help that. That street there is Worley Road. I do have Worley Road on the streets of Blackpool series. That. the cherry blossoming that's another building that I absolutely love there's some of these buildings where you get such a really nice feel you know nice vibes from them and that's one of them and that's a nice looking house that as well that just looks like an ordinary house I mean, it's probably apartments or whatever but that's the kind of place I'd like to live in but as a house not apartments, you know, the whole thing. Because I do like space. Got a little building here, this needs a little bit of TLC. But it's got scaffolding up it, so I'm sure it's going to be done at some point. But the one we're coming up to now, that appears to be just totally abandoned hopefully because there was some kind of work going on at some point and they did start to put new windows in but now it's like everything's just stopped and it just looks all so abandoned and it's such a shame because look at all the lovely bays and I bet it could be beautiful inside I mean clearly it's not beautiful inside right now but it could be for sure. And then this is a corner where we're heading towards Ginn Square and I do really like this corner. Again it's got such a lovely vibe to it, such a cool aesthetic. I mean look at the bricks and the building style. The Belgravia care home, the Hotel Belvedere, but they're all built to a similar aesthetic. Just a nice curved brick. So lovely. And this, folks, is Skin Square. So I think this is where I'm going to end this video. So just walk around this corner onto Skin Square. Look at those little pillars there. That is beautiful. Look at that entrance to that. That could be made to look so grand and beautiful if it's all done up. If I was a billionaire, I'd do all those places up and I'd just give them away for free so people could just enjoy living there. And here we are guys, Gin Square. And look, that's our first tram that we've seen going past. Or at least that's the first one I've noticed going past. I had to just poof it across that road a little bit then because the car was coming. Yeah, we're ending this one now on Gin Square. So thank you so much for watching. Please just hit the like button before you go if you like the video. And I shall be right back in the next one. Goodbye.